Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, people on the internet. Today morning we are at the middle of nowhere, somewhere outside of Kintel. Kintel, of course, on the Highway 21 in Ontario, on the lake side, very close to the Uran Lake. And it's a very nice little lane here, all with cottages, full with cottages. Many of them you can rent on Airbnb for a decent price. A price depends on the size of the cottage and how many people can sleep in it. So these cottages are seasonal, but as I can see some of them are winterized. So we're going to take a short walk here and let's see what this place offer. This is outside of Kintel. Kintel is about 20 kilometers from Godrich. And if we go to the other way, it's very close to Kincardine. So let's take a short walk and take a look at what is here. Oh, that one is my wife and with her dog. Hello, Gina. Hello. Let's walk, lady. So here is a black swan cabin and the reason why we get here because one of our friends rented this black swan cabin for a week. I'm not sure how much they pay for it. How much they pay for it? $3,000. It's $3,000 for a week. For a week. I don't want to make free advertising for no, no cabin or cottage. In my opinion, three thousand dollars for a week is kind of in the pricey side. How many people can sleep in? Six bedroom. Six bedroom? Yeah. Twelve people? I don't know. Are you supposed to know. Women know everything. With the kids, six more. Six more. So if twelve people can sleep in three thousand dollars, is not much. We just rented a cottage recently in Lovesick Lake, in, in my previous video, you can see it. That cottage was $1,400 and six people could sleep in it. I said this is very close to the this one is a beautiful wow no chimney so it's not for winter ice oh, no 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 very close to the lake you will see then is a some room between the houses or next to the driveway you can see the lake so I guess all, all these cottages has a private beach. See, there is the lake behind it. So basically the gentleman or the owner just sit in the backyard. There is the fireplace and watching the sunset. So 
So here is another rental place. It says welcome to the Go Wings. Go Wings. Hmm. Looks like Go Wings is a name. In, so probably the cottage name is Go Wings. Apparently it has two levels in the attic, but it's not the greatest shape. It has a chimney too. Huh. Good morning. Wow, look at this. It's not finished yet. It's beautiful. There is the water, top of the hill. This one is very nice too. Look at this very big built in garage. But according to the driveway, no one was here for a while. So I think this is a rental place too. But I'm not sure. So there is the lake behind it, if you guys can see it and the beautiful cottage there, hiding behind the trees. Apparently, it's a summer house, I guess, but I'm not sure. Some work is still going on, some landscaping, but it's already beautiful for my taste. It doesn't mean I'm so beautiful for you too. Look at the lake on the back. There is a hammock behind the hammock. I should go there, but that is considered as a trespassing, so I not take a risk. Maybe I can find a walkway to the lake. It would be nice. Oh, I just found something. 
Huh. Oh man, I meet with this guy somewhere. Where did you I see you? Where did I see you? You remind me for somebody. You are not beautiful at all. You are a little devil. Huh. Beautiful cottage, a nice motor home on the driveway. Impressive. Oh, look at that one. The deck upstairs. Face on the lake. And you can see the view. Wow. You cannot have a better place to spend the summer. Impressive. Mm -hmm. oh, this one is for sale. Yeah. Just listed. So this house is for sale. There is the agent and I searched it over the internet and the price for it 1,649,000 well, it's extremely nice I don't want to go closer because someone is going to scream at me I'm trespassing I look at it a stone designing the main floor some wood planning upstairs the beautiful deck healthy up and there is the lake behind it. Huh. This is what you can get. 1,600,000, Canadian dollar. Very impressive. Finally, I managed to walk to the water However, there is a sign no trespassing, so I cannot go any closer. There is a homemade stairs on the back. It's kind of hard to see from this window, but somebody built it. It's very impressive, including a lot of work. I will try to show you how they did it. So, where I am right now, this is the end of the cottage street, and here is some outlook point I guess you can see the beautiful sunset so I go closer to the lake but very windy and probably a sound will be awful so we are up high and there is the stairs that I was talking about I'm not sure you can see it I do see and the beautiful lake you're on almost like an ocean isn't it but it's not the ocean, it's a lake. Okay. So unexpected things happening in the world. So we ended up having a fish and chips in King Cardin in this fish restaurant, which is close to the main street, close to the beach, which is there. I think we're gonna go later on there. But first we have to eat this fish and chips and we will see how it's gonna taste. So here is our fish and chips. It's an Atlantic fish, a haddock with corsa. She ordered the same with scissor salad. And the dog had his doggy food. Hi. So let's taste it. Yeah. It's looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Not more talent. So I finished my fish and chips. Mm -hmm. It was really good. The fish was nice and flaky. A French white crispy. A salad excellent. And something interesting to show. You know we are in Canada. There's a vinegar on the table for the franchise. And the typical Canadian. So how is your fish and chips? Very good. 
which one is the best part? The fish. Oh, fish. Why? Very flaky. Very flaky. Good. Good. What about Oscar? How is your fish and chips, Oscar? Oscar love it. A piece of fry? Oscar, so how was it? I guess it was good. So we ate our fish and chips and right now we have a power so we're gonna take a short walk and try to walk to the lakeside here in King Cardin, Ontario very close to the lake let's see what this place has to offer Very nice, very clean, very organized. Somebody playing with the sky. It's not the sky, somebody on the water with the sky. Look at that motel. What the heck is this? There is the harbor far back. And there is the lake. Quite a few people here. And somebody, oops, uh, I'm gonna stand up. Yes, he did. Oh. Oh, he's pretty good at it. not his first day today. So right now we are at the marina in King Cardin. As I mentioned before we are in King Cardin. King Cardin is a city about 45 minutes from Godrich, 45 minutes drive from Godrich. It's a fairly big city. There's a small bay here with many boats in. There is a police boat too. It is a rescue. And there is the entry to the lake. The left side is a public beach, a very sandy beach. The right side is a beach too, but that one is not a sandy one, it's a, a stones. And here is the lighting tower, which is still functioning. 
So I'm going to walk back to my car and take the shortcut on the stairs because I'm supposed to have a calorie enough to make the stairs up there. Oh my god, what I get myself into. So we got back our home base, somewhere home base. And I think time to call end of the day and take it easy as easy as Gina do. Just I have different idea about to take it easy. I'm going to have some Canadian whiskey, Holland beer. Heineken oh. and the Hungarian cup to make it really international. That was it today. Time to say goodbye. See you next time guys.